Hi, everybody, it's FIBO Group, and you are watching to the Market Watch Review. Global equities are generally higher today following yesterday's strong U.S. advance. Notable exception is China's equity. Stock 600 in Europe is up 0.3% in late morning turnover, while futures in the USA are showing a more firm tone. Before today's CPI report and tomorrow's FOMC meeting, the dollar is softer than G10 currencies. Most mixed are emerging market currencies. After yesterday's fall, gold has stabilized. WTI has been recovering today after falling each day last week. It rose by 3% yesterday and is now at $1.74 per barrel. Asian Pacific Market Last week, the Netherlands seemed to be on board with tighter export controls for advanced chip-making equipment shipping to China. According to news reports, Japan is now also in principle agreeing to the same. It isn't just about cutting-edge technology. It's also about maintaining a significant gap between the US and China. Although the dollar edged slightly above yesterday's high, it remained at a record high for the month. However, it remained well below JPY 138.00. Yesterday, the Australian dollar fell from $0.680 to $0.673 to test its 20-day moving average. Yesterday's range saw a stronger consolidation. Market of Europe The UK employment data doesn't seem to have any effect on the probability that the Bank of England will announce a 50 BP increase at its Thursday meeting. Swaps market traders have a 25% chance that a 7-5 BP increase will be discounted. This is practically unchanged from last week. Despite the economy's decline, the labor market continues to be strong. Germany's ZEW investor survey improved in November. This may have been helped by the 8.6% rally at the DAX last month, following a 9.4% rally back in October. In late November, it reached its highest level since June. Today, the euro is trading in the third of a penny range against the dollar, with most being below $1.0560. Sterling also trades in a narrow range of roughly half cents, below $1.2300. Market of America The US OPEC Plus dispute over the outlook for oil prices seems to have been settled in OPEC Plus favor. January WTI fell from $108 per barrel in June to $70 in recent days. This is the lowest price since the start of the year. The year saw new lows in retail gasoline prices in the US. According to the Fed's summary of economic projections, the median view is that the PCE deflator will be at 2.8% by the end of next fiscal year. It has maintained that it will not reduce rates until 2024, despite its lower inflation projection. The US dollar is still well within the CAD 1.3560 to 1.37 range which has dominated the past week. That's all for me, closely monitor the news background and be prepared for all the surprises of the market.